Hey, Steve Stein here from GuitarZoom.com, and today we're gonna be dusting off a rock classic. We're gonna be looking at one of my favorite guitar riffs, Bark at the Moon by Ozzy Osbourne. Make sure that you stick around until the end because I'm gonna share some tips to make these riffs sound even more dynamic and tight. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in this video for 13 Riffs of Halloween, we're looking at Bark at the Moon by Ozzy Osbourne, uh, guitar player, of course, Jakey e. Lee. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna start off playing some fourth string power chords, moving from five, seven, and eight, up a whole step to seven, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna start adding some palm mutes in between. And there's four of those. So notice how I play that a couple of times there. And right there what happens is I switch that 10 to an eight. So on the second string I take my, my pinky off and I add my middle finger for the eighth fret. So it looks like this. Then I'm gonna add this little lick, which is two zeros, then I go to three, pick that, do a pull off, and then do two more zeros. Okay, so I have. Now if you'd rather you know, pick all of those, you could certainly do that too. So when I get done with that lick, Play this chord three times with those palm mutes in between. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up to this other thing here. And what I'm doing right there, and I'll show you the, the palm mutes in between and stuff too, but I'm playing on the second, third, and fourth string, second, third, and fourth string, excuse me. I'm gonna play the tenth fret with my pinky, and the reason is is because I have to reach quite a ways down here in just a second. So that's the first chord is playing 10, 10, 10. Then I'm going to play 10, 10 on the second and third strings, but I'm going to add the ninth fret, which I'm doing with my ring finger. So I have 10, 10, 9. Okay. Then I'm going to move 10, 10 again, but I'm going to play 5. And then I'm going to go back to 10, 10, 9. So it looks like this. And in between those, I'm going to add two zeros. So if I connect that to the rest of it, you can kind of hear it in context. And right after I get done with that, I got to go back to this power chord I started on here. Not down here, but right here at the uh, seventh fret. But then the second time what he does is instead of doing the third fret, I, I believe he goes to the fifth fret. There's a video where Jake talks about all of this stuff. So, uh, so we go to the fifth fret instead of the third fret. Okay, so we're coming up our... And then we go here. And we play that three times, and then we go into our... So I'm playing one, zero, one, three. Then one, zero. And then three, one. And then for our sake, we're just stopping on the A and ending this thing. Okay, so we've got this. And that's a really fun riff to learn. So. Stay safe. Hey, I'd like to give you a free pass to my best courses that will take your playing to the next level fast. Just go to guitarzoom.com and get started for free. And there's also a link in the description. Thanks.